please subscribe to this channel and also hit the notification button in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos. French Cameroon head of state Paul Biya is only 87 years old, but his recent disappearance from the British Southern Cameroons and French Cameroon political scenes following the outbreak of the COVID-19 has pushed many political commentators to be concerned about his bill of health. The butcher of Yaoundé is known for spending millions of Cameroonian taxpayers' money to sustain his lavish lifestyle in a five-star hotel in Geneva, Switzerland. There are several other elements that have Cameroonians questioning if the 87-year-old is still alive. Bia has a horrible drinking habit and despite his age, he has continued to poison himself in the hope that alcohol will help shield himself from the furious attacks from his compatriots. President Bia's inclination to the red wine and champagne is no secret. He consumes so much wine during the Organization of African Unity Summit in Yaoundé and forgot that he had to welcome the great Nelson Mandela at the Simalen airport. Mandela arrived on time and Bia's acolytes rushed to the Prime Minister Simon Achidi Achu at the time to meet him. It needed the intervention of the French president at that time, Jacques Chirac, to get Mandela back in Yaoundé for Bia to make up for his shameful, costly mistake. Alcohol is one of Bia's vices, as observed by his late wife, Jeanne Irene Bia. Like every other Betty, Bulu, and Eton citizen, Bia loves his liquor. The president spends millions of US dollars each year on alcohol, and Bia prefers expensive brands. He mixes it with champagne and this gives him the false impression that he is a chemist. It is not only alcohol that Bia's Achilles heals. He also loves good food and has been eating himself to death. BBC Focus on Africa reported more than two decades ago that Bia was limping, likely due to a strain in his leg. The BBC article stated that Bia had a pain and inflammation from too much uric acid in the joints. His love for red meat has caught up with him and when he gets flares, he cries like a baby. It became evident in Paris during Bia's recent meeting with French President Emmanuel Macron that Bia was far more concerned with feeding himself than helping his people to get out of poverty. Bia has been hiding for 37 years as head of state. And while that could be a way to guarantee his continued stay in power, it could also be just a bad political habit. Bia, like Shakespeare's Macbeth, does not sleep. Cameroon Intelligence Report understands that President Paul Bia has a very difficult time sleeping. After carrying out high-level killings and purges in his own regime, and jailing prominent ruling CPDM barons, including the Prime Minister Enoni Ephraim, Bia now fears for his own life, even he is by the side of his own grief. Allegedly, these fears keep him up at night, and he is not getting enough sleep. His much published meeting with the French ambassador Christophe Guillou recently in Yaoundé as a response to the declarations made by Professor Maurice Camteau has been dismissed as a French political game to keep the CPDM regime alive and active. Bia is actually suffering from insomnia and other age-related ailments. Bia's family is paranoid. His late elder brother never got a tumor removed from his body because he was afraid of boarding a plane to France and was too worried about being killed by doctors in Yaoundé. Whether he sleeps or not, he has no control over death. Living long in pain may only be nature's way of getting back to a man who has had more than his fair share of life by crook. He has never won an election. He runs away from everybody thinking that everybody is his enemy. But his real enemies are Aijo's ghost that constantly visits him and the liquor that has ruined his health. He still has time to repent before leaving the world. If he keeps holding back his thoughts, he will keep on suffering in silence and dying gradually.